So it is here. It is here and it's here on time. I mean, it is on time and it's not in Raw. And I'm talking about Don the Ramba 3 The Spare Arc, Episode 7. Jesus. We finally get to see the most ter- horrific event in human history. Finally, <laughs> we reached reach to it, but sadly, I'm a bit disappointed in the results. So, anyway, let's start from the beginning of this episode, and that is with Mitari. And let's see how Jugo is going to use Mitari. His anime really does heavily influence people. He wanted to make an anime that can move people, motivate them through the mind. So, Jugo, we all know, is going to have a little special surprise for him at the end of this. And so it seems that she's going to use this anime probably to help her destroy the world. Can you imagine that? That anime? <laughs> I love how, how Jungle trolled the anime otaku fans in this episode. She says, who cares about that anime trash? <laughs> just like, she just pulled a filthy Frank, man. Who cares about that anime trash, man? That stuff sucks. And then, of course, she expected him to react so angry and just just mad about it over, over a Japanese cartoon. And she expected that, but she went over and saw the anime and she was moved by it but now she understands it and she's going to use it to her its most fullest potential by using it to bring out about despair to the whole entire world so that's just crazy right there Mikan just did come in and she was looking for him because um ultimate imposter told her that she was missing, so she went to look for him and she found out what was going on. So, however, it seems that she is okay and she's taking care of him right now. This is very interesting how Mitari has an interesting connection with the Despairs. So far, he is familiar with four Despairs already, and that is with Junko, her sister, and of course, Mikan and the Ultimate Imposter. So, he has some very strange ties to them. So um, it makes you what some of these people think in future arc, how they feel about the ultimate despairs, even though they once knew them before. I wonder how they feel about this. Like, I knew these people. I wonder if we done this. Well, if this happened, will things have changed? I wonder. Well, anyways, speaking of surprises, Junko's sister. Oh my God, Junko's sister has a voice. So she isn't just good at just just killing people. She's also good at singing. That was a big surprise right there. I love that her singing. And while everyone was killing each other, oh my gosh. But this was, of course, the first killing game. The very first. And Kamakura Obey was in it, but he didn't really do anything. He just stood there and watched everyone kill each other. Even to the, down to the last person, he didn't really do anything. But evade his attack and push him back. And everything else, Mother Nature pretty much did the rest. So yeah, we... He didn't do anything, so that's what disappointed me. I thought he would have to do something, but instead he was just there just to witness it going down. So you'll see how amazing despair is, and he seems to be surprised by it. He is really, really amazed by it. It's all thanks to Junko, baby. So now, both terrific things, horrific things, has finally gotten out, and that is with the experimentation of Kamakura-kun and the killing accident of the student council, which is also blamed on Kamakura-kun as well. So yeah, everything's finally going down, it's mush, it's chaos, oh my goodness, and poor little Chiaki just like, where's my Hinata-kun? Where is my Hinata-kun? Hinata-kun is Junko and he's having the time of his life right now. Sorry, Nimani. So sorry. Anyway, speaking with um, Kamaya Nagito, like, this dude crashed, his plane crashed, and he's on some desert oasis taking a shower. And, and it was all these fan services of Kamaida. All the guys, always Kamaida. Like, my god, man. <laughs> but he is a lucky dude, even though I found out he screwed a kid from last episode. I still think he's a cool dude. I do like his insanity and his unper- unpredictability. I do love that very much about Kamaida. Very interesting trait of his, as always. So that's all I got for this episode, man. I wonder what Junko's gonna do next. Oh, well, how is she gonna use anime to destroy the world? She's probably gonna hypnotize the remnants of despair, 
Who knows what's going to happen, but I cannot wait for next week. So much done in the Robert Hype, baby, all around. And if this episode does not get number one on the top tr- charts, I don't know what will. So that's all I got for now. If you like the video, please like, rate, comment, share if you could. I'll be much obliged. This is Man From Anime, signing out.